morning boys and girls and let's get ready to stretch out some sounds with Miss Camera. I'm so excited that you're here again. As a daily reminder, please make sure you're reviewing your alphabet chart every single day. Make sure you're practicing all that you know about letter formations and all that you know about letter sounds. Okay boys and girls, we're going to be using all that today to help us stretch and write words. Before we get started, make sure you have your Elkona boxes. And if you don't have your Elkona boxes, that's okay. You could just draw three squares like I have. And then make sure you have some counters. And if you don't have counters, you could use any toys or pennies that you would like to use. And the last thing you're going to need is a marker. Okay, let's get started, boys and girls. So the first word we're going to sound out today is the word vet. Can you say the word vet? Okay, move your pieces into the box to hear all the sounds that you hear in the word vet. Go. Did you do it? All right, boys and girls, let's try this one together. V, e, t, vet. All right, boys and girls, now let's get your marker and write the letters to match the sounds that we hear in the word vet. Vet. What do you hear in the beginning? V. Did you write the letter V? Yep, because V makes the V sound. All right, let's keep going. V, E. Did you write the letter E? Yep, because E makes the E sound. V, E, T. Did you write the letter T? Yep, because T makes the T sound. V, E, T, VET. Okay, now your turn. All right, great job, boys and girls. Now let's get ready to do our next one. Erase, 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 erase. All right, the next word we're going to stretch out is the word bib. Can you say the word bib? All right, move your pieces to hear all the sounds that you hear in the word bib. B, e, b, bib. All right, boys and girls. Now, can you try it by yourself? Did you do it? All right. Now let's write the letters to match the sounds that we hear in the word bib. Bib. Did you write the letter B? Yep, because B makes the B sound. B, E. Did you write the letter I? Yep, because I makes the E sound. B, E. B. Did you write the letter B? Yep, because B makes the B sound. Make sure you check your B's that they're not saying B because that would say did. And that's a snap word, but we're writing the word bib. All right, boys and girls, let's do our last word for today. So erase, 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 erase. The last word for today is the word tap. Can you say the word tap? All right, now let's move our pieces into it, and you're going to say all the sounds that you hear in the word tap. Did you do it? Okay, now let's try it together. T, A, P, tap. All right, now let's write the letters to match the sounds that we hear in the word tap. Tap. T, did you hear? The T sound in the beginning? Yep, because T makes the T sound. T, A. Did you write the letter A? Yep, because A makes the A sound. T, A, P. Did you write the letter P? Yep, because P makes the P sound. Now let's stretch out all the sounds that we hear in the word tap. T, A, P, tap. Now you try it. Great job, boys and girls. Boys and girls, you did such a good job stretching out your words with me today. I want you to keep practicing every day when you're writing, stretch out all the sounds that you hear. And when you're reading, make sure you're saying all the sounds that you're here to put the word together. All right, boys and girls, thank you for working with me today. I'll see you next time.